Hi everyone, this is Odd Apostrophe. Let's check out East 8. Uh, Lacrim Lacrimosa of Don Donna. Lacrimosa of Donna. I don't know. It's easy. That's it. Easy. For those who have difficulty with action games, a friendly mode that's easy to pick up and play. Uh, normal. Assign a difficulty for those who enjoy the story and the action equally. Hard for those who desire the thrill of both action and grinding. Recommended for experienced players of the E series. Nightmare. An extremely unreasonable difficulty. Only true masters stand a chance of overcoming this challenge. Inferno. A cruel difficulty beyond Nightmare with the following restrictions. Empty bottles are one-time use, max item limit, enemies move faster. Wow. Well, none of those sound good except for easy. Uh, display tips on loading screen during map transitions. Yeah, why not? Category set just now can be changed during the game via the options menu. Oh, well, thanks for letting me know. That's awful nice of you. We are not the tools of any deity. We are living as existences with unique wills. Even so, we must all face that moment when we realize there is a fate beyond humanity's ken. When it happens to you, how will you react? Humanity is most beautiful when it pushes itself past its limit. But even then, it I hope to personify this belief myself, but even now, decades later, I revere her for doing what I could not. Adol Kristen, excerpt from Prayer Plus of the Gaet Sea. Southeast Greek, the guy at sea. Passenger liner, Lombardia. Oh, this one begins on the ship too. <laughs> so did seven. Wow. Huh. Oh, I guess technically one did too. Eight all Kristen. Hey Adol, are you taking a break too? Staying inside the hold feels suffocating. That outfit looks pretty good on it. I've been hired to load all the luggage. You've been hired as a temporary sailor. They let us on board till we reach Eresia in exchange for doing a little work. Plus, they're feeding and paying us. We're killing three birds with one stone. We need to thank the captain. We should save up what we can. Thanks, Captain. Yeah. Captain Barbaros. Even though he looks pretty scary, he's a really good and reliable guy. Thanks to him, it looks like we can head to our destination as soon as we arrive in port. It's kind of sad, but I guess we'll have to say farewell to Xandria. As we greet our new adventure. I'm looking forward to it, partner. Prologue. Night on the guy at sea. So, Adol, where are we going next? Once we reach the port in Sunyan, Greek is just up ahead. Anyway, the wind blows. <laughs> are you a poet now or something? Or are you just trying to sound like Luta? It would have been better if we traveled off the western coast of Afroka. Hey, are 
you trying to reach Altago? Kashu! <laughs> you betcha! Adol has always been looking for a way to get to Altago. I'm amazed. You are aware of the conflict between the Kingdom of Altago and the Roman Empire, right? Only ships of the Roman Navy can sail into that part of the sea. You're known as an adventurer, but I didn't think you were that reckless. Well, being around him is always entertaining. The Adol that trots about finds adventure. Wanna come with us, Kashu? <laughs> I'll pass. By the way, your break is almost over. Dogi, can you get back to your duties in the hold? Oh, well, it's that time already. Okay, I'll get back to work. See you later, Adol. What should I do? Should I help them hold too? What should I do? Let's see. You've already learned the duties of being on deck. Can you go see Captain Barbaros? I was told to send you to the captain's quarters once your job was finished. The captain's quarters are located at the aft part of the deck. Please visit me. Let's see. Move with the left stick. Talk with X. Search with X when the magnifying glass appears. Okay, uh, everything. <laughs> Let's see, evasion, adventure key, item screen, attack, jump, target, switch. Yeah, God, okay. Uh, I guess we'll learn all that. How to use downloadable content. Downloadable content will be displayed in the item menus DLC tab. Select the content from the list and press X to open it. Content that you open is added to your inventory. They already let you know either. They let you know right away there's <laughs> DLC. Oh, by the way, there's DLC. You, you cool with that? Yeah, I don't really have a choice. Voice volume, man. It's way too quiet. We'll leave all that. Mini map range. Display setting for field view on the mini map. Guess that's fine. Oh, guess I should save. I'm saying the following. Play ring two at the bottom. Oh boy, we don't have much. Oh? What a massive ship. Been a while since I was last on one this big. I wanted to hit the can, but I took the wrong turn somewhere. If this were my ship, I'd just whiz off the edge of the deck. <laughs> we won't see land for a while. I'm happy, but sad at the same time. <laughs> I'm counting on you while we're on this voyage, Adol. Or, at all. Anyway, can you go visit Captain Barbar Barbaros? The captain's quarters is located on the rear deck. Yeah, just a minute, man. I thought it would be fun if I went to work with my dad. If I went with my dad to his work. Everyone was just being flattering, and honestly, it was plain sad. How boring. Store leads below deck. Let's go to the captain quarters in the back. Can't quit wandering around, you jerk. Hey, uh, hey. The guy at sea has always been a real prosperous maritime trade route. That's why outlaws tend to target ships for their cargo. You know, pirates. The Lombardia is a passenger ship, but it has some nice cannons as a countermeasure. Well, it's for the safety of the passengers, too. 
Go forth to the guide sea. Hello. Hey, it's you, Adol. Are you just are you patrolling? Oh, just looking for the captain. <laughs> I think you already know that the captain's room is in the back. Ancient. <laughs> Today is the perfect day for a voyage. All is God's will. Would you like to pray with me? Now let me sashay around. Why does Ella Ella walking around like that? <laughs> okay. Obviously they changed it to the motion actor. Yes. There are various important passengers in this room. The captain told me not to let anyone through. So if you're patrolling, please go somewhere else. Well, go talk to the captain, jerk. Barrick. Yeah. The weather's been great lately, and the weather's been calm. Basically, it's rare to have such a steady voyage. Could it be that you and Dogi are good luck charms? <laughs> oh no. Engage. Not at all. He's definitely not a good luck charm. Okay. Lombardia is a pretty nice ship. It's a... It's a more expensive ship than what I usually take, but I'm superstitious. I have a big business meeting at at Sunyan, So Union, and I gotta close the deal. Thanks for coming. Why don't you take a seat first? Oh, you look different from the last game. Okay. Hey, it's Coupon Barbaros. Now, if I remember correctly, you said you're an adventurer. Then, are you aware of the Isle of Siren? No. I see. Well, there are a lot of islands in the Gaite Sea. It's famous for being difficult to navigate, due to its many islands with complicated coastlines. But what's scariest of all is that every ship that approaches the island mysteriously sinks. That's the Isle of Siren. Mysteriously sinks? Yes, the currents are difficult to navigate, but the cause of the sinking remains unknown. About five years ago, an exploratory ship from Rom approached the island, but the ship was suddenly sucked into a calm sea. There wasn't even a reef to run aground on. A siren is a beast from Grecian mythology that sinks ships. The pirate who named the island claimed that it is eternally cursed. Is there any way to land there? Maybe. Hmm. I didn't expect you to ask that. But unfortunately, no one in the world can answer your question. That's because no one who has landed there has ever returned alive. It's weird hearing Adol's voice. We've... <laughs> it's been like 30 years and we haven't heard Adol's voice ever. <laughs> Sailors from the Gaite Sea don't even know what kind of place it is. That's unfortunate. Looks like I sparked a flame in your adventurous spirit. This topic is something I always bring up to new sailors. When I told Kashi, he got so scared he wouldn't even come out of his quarters. I have high hopes for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, sorry to keep you this long, but I have a favor to ask of you. Every time this ship takes on guests, we throw a welcome party. I want you to attend the party as security. Me? Um. Yes, I've been doing this for a long time, and I've seen many people in my life. You're highly spirited, and it's obvious that you're very skilled. Please talk to Kashu about the details of your duty. All right. See you later, Adam. This is by far the best ship I've ever been on. <laughs> yes, I mean, right? I've been. I've been on. It's a perfect getaway. I tell you. Are you new? First time? First time on board? Hey, look at this guy. Come on. 
Good evening, everyone. I'm Captain Barbaros. I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for choosing the Lombardia for your travels. The ship is 50 melee long and has four masts. It is the largest ship of its class, and it sails between Zandria and Arisi. All right, Adol. Let me go over the duties of security one more time. You must secure the guest floor and the top deck. Just make sure no one does anything threatening or suspicious. Now, is there someone being threatening? Many people have gathered here today, so you never know who's here. But if you talk to them, you might hear some interesting things. Well, no matter who you're talking to, they're a guest, so please be respectful. Aye, sir. Oh, someone's on board. All right, the captain's greeting is about to end. I'll start right away by looking around the hold. See you later, Adol. That will do it for me. Everyone, please enjoy the rest of the evening and feel free to chat with me. Please have a wonderful night. Camp menu, uh, display via the options, save load, accessible from systems, via the camp, oh, oh we, already, we just did that one. <laughs> Adults who get excited over party are idiots. <sighs> I'm getting bored and sleepy. I should check out the hold. Well, you're not suspicious. It's good that I got on board, but damn, where could they be? If I'd known this was going to happen, I would have picked a rendezvous beforehand. Seems like we seem, seems like we eat while standing. Huh, I assume that means we can eat all we want. All right, I'm going to eat and eat and eat until it matches the ticket price. Hmm. Looking around, you can tell that all kinds of walks of life are on the Lombardia. Different social status, outfits. The ship has an accepting heart. Mm -hmm. hmm, it's been worth living for such a long time because I was able to ride a ship this beautiful. The food is delicious, and I have nothing bad to say. Yeah, really, the older I get, the uh, more bad things I have to say. Yeah. Huh, I was able to enjoy a very thrilling time on board, and I got this ticket for a marvelous ship. I'm one lucky Rhesian woman. Hmm. I was nervous about traveling across the sea, but I'm really glad to see my wife uh, happy like this. This bliss, hope lasts forever. Ah, don't worry, you'll do something wrong. <laughs> Hmm, it's not that bad joining a feast with commoners, after all. This abnormal combination compromises the ingredients for a masterpiece. Lombardia, not too shabby. <laughs> hmm, to see my lady so surprised, that was quite the treat. It's the duty of this butler to support my lady, who is not yet well-traveled. Hmm, she can be quite a handful. Uh... Hmm, there aren't any other ships available, so I boarded this one. I feel really bad for my family. This isn't my atonement or anything, but when I get back, I'll try to recreate all the food served here for them. With that settled, I need to start my culinary research. Hmm. Hmm. This wine is the definition of mediocre. Hey, sailor, why are you just standing there for? Bring me a delicious feast. I was told that this is a large passenger ship, but its lack of class is obvious. I think you already know, but the drinks are for passengers only. Huh. Well, leftover drinks are a very different story. Well, when our shift is up, let's drink like we always do. Yeah. Oh, Adol, patrol duty, huh? It doesn't happen often, but we sometimes have stowaways. Well, be careful. Okay. Looks like you're patrolling. Don't tell me you got lost. This is the tail end of the ship. The hall and the captain's room are over there. If you want to go to the hall, use the stairs at the front of the ship. No. Oh. Why did he have to be on the ship? Jeez, always treating me like a helpless child. Yes. 
A noble from Rom is using this first classroom. I'm sick of hearing this guy demand that we bring more food. We're not his servants. Man, this is lame. They all have a bar in them. That's interesting. Yes. I've been traveling primarily around the guide to see to spread the teachings of the Star Sculpt Church. My church is in Greek, and I have not returned to it in two years. I bet the children living there have grown so much. I look forward to seeing them again. Anybody hiding any freely underwear in here? I mean, any stowaways? What do you want? Hmm, not a thing. Hmm, you must be so busy to wander in here. By the way, when you make your way out of any room from now on, try not to make any sound when you close the door. What's up? Hey, it doesn't seem like you have to pull kitchen duty. What? You're patrolling? Huh, perfect timing, then. I mean, aren't you trying to decide where to go for your next adventure? This ship is gigantic, so I figured we could ask around and hear some interesting stories. If all goes well, we might be able to pick our next destination. <laughs> if you hear anything interesting, tell me later. Changes menu map size, as well as full screen map. Let's see, means to request. Okay. Oh, interesting. Yes. Ah, it's you, Adol. Thank you for patrolling at night. The stars are beautiful, huh? <laughs> Don't gaze at them too long and stumble off deck. Breeze feels nice. Great weather and a clear, starry sky. Wait for me, beloved Crete. I'm coming home. Check our course. Set sail. Ah, this breeze feels good. It's so different from the tainted air of Rom. Mm. Hmm. Looks like you use a sword, but <laughs> never mind. It's such a calm and quiet night. I shouldn't bring up such boorish things. I hope you can finish your duties and get some well-earned rest. Ah, maybe I don't need to rest if you're, uh... No. The real voyage starts at night when it's difficult to navigate. The main hall is hosting a party, but let's keep on our toes. Glad to have you with us, Edel. Edel sounds like a pill. Hey, Adol, how are you doing on lookout? Uh, everyone looks suspicious. <laughs> really? There are a lot of unique guests, but I think you're starting to get paranoid. The ocean is calm again today, and the ship is sailing smoothly. By the way, the captain was looking for you just now. I think he said something about passing through something soon. He, sh he should be in the back by the captain quarters by now. Why don't you go visit him? I'll look around a bit longer, yeah. Well, from the look of the captain, it didn't seem like an emergency. Can you go visit him after you're done walking around? Oh, I'll it back here again. What the heck? It's the captain's policy to talk to the passengers during the welcoming party. This way, we meet our passengers and continue the voyage with peace of mind. You don't have to worry about it right now, so maybe you should go visit the captain. He should be in the captain's quarters. Hello. 
Working night shift is tough. Uh, I want it to be over really. Already. <laughs> yeah, I can't talk sometimes. Uh, uh, most of the time. Ah, here you are. I'm sorry to bother you while you're working. It's nothing important. I just wanted to let you know we're about to pass the area. Is it the... Hmm, that's right. The Isle of Siren. We were just talking about it. The weather is great today, so you might be able to see the silhouette of the island. The Isle of Siren is about 500 square uh, Krimle. At the center, there's a range of mountains that are about 2,000 melee high. We're about to pass by. I figured you'd want to see it. What's going on? I don't know, but it seems like we crashed into something. That's impossible. There's nothing to run into in this area. Check it out right away. Aye, aye, sir. <sighs> We're still some distance from the island. What could it be? What is that? Huh? What was that? Somebody screaming? I... What is that thing? At, at this rate, the ship will be destroyed. Giant Sea Spectre, Giant Tentacle. Good thing I'm not a Japanese schoolgirl. Take this. Isis Blade was received and equipped. Press X to attack and triangle to lock into a target. The camera will follow the enemy. Enemy information and weakness will be displayed. Change targets with the right stick and triangle to unlock. Evade the enemy attack with L1. Use it to dodge dangerous attacks. Press circle jump. Uh, press X while jumping to attack and strike while ascending or descending to perform different attacks.
Great job. I can always count on you, Adol. What was that thing? It looked like a tentacle from a giant squid or something. Hey! Well, no, probably not.
Where am I? Looks like I washed ashore somewhere. There's no sign of people. The sound of the waves crashing is the only thing that's echoing in my ears. Well, I wanted to come to here anyway. Nameless shore. Let's search the shore a little more. Oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> Did this wash up on shore? And all sort of sticking up from the ground. Would you like to take it? Yeah, might as well. Adol picked up the rest of the sword and encrypted. Here, boy. Uh, oh. Adol acquired a new skill during the battle. Skills are unleashed by using skill points. Skills are learned through battle. Set them via the skill from the camp menu to R1 plus a button. Gain SP by attacking. Land a charge attack to gain a lot of SP. Uh, if you stop attacking, your power will charge. Uh, press X to for a charge attack, gaining massive SP. Hold R1 and press any of the buttons to select a uh, to unleash a set skill. You have to be on guard from now on. You should set your skills just in case. You've been adrift so long, your body is exhausted. It's dangerous to stay here. You should get going. Adol quenched his thirst with the clear water from the river. He felt the water sinking into his body. He felt quite relieved. Field recovery. Stand still while out in the field to gradually recover HP. You will not recover inside dungeons, so bring you medicine. Should we keep going? water. <laughs> Ooh, fishy. I'm assuming there's going to be a fishing mini game.
Why are men always disgusting, tactless, and on top of that, so pushy? Yes, just like him. <sighs> I apologize for making you wait. Now take off your clothes. Oh, well, you don't have much on. Loxia. Or Lashia, depending on how they pronounce it. Let us introduce ourselves first. My name is Laxia. I'm a daughter of the noble Roswell family from Garmin. The ship I was on sank, and I drifted to shore near here. Who are you? From the look of your clothes, you must be a sailor from the Lombardia. Temporary sailor, yeah. Battle Kristen. Temporary sailor? Are you trying to fool me in order to conceal your identity? I almost lost my life in that accident. Even if you're only a temporary sailor, you need to explain to me what happened. Uh, giant tentacle. Adol told her about the giant tentacles that attacked the Lombardia. You said your name was Adol, correct? So you're telling me that those giant tentacles attacked and destroyed our ship? Do you expect me to believe such a bizarre story? How big a fool do you think I am? Oh, you? Is it just me? You kind of look like... Pig bats? Huh? When did they? Uh, leave this to me. Okay. There's no need for that. I don't need protection from someone like you. Lexia von Roswell, entering the fray. Allies have attributes that will deal critical damage to vulnerable enemies. Adults is slash and Moxius is pierce. Slash, effect against soft bladed enemies. Pierce, effect against aerial enemies. Strike, effect against armored enemies. Poor compatibility, compatibility means poor damage output. Uh, atta attack with effective attributes to break opponents. Slash, high, down high damage lowers defense. Pierce, damage and lowers defense. And ground flyer, strike, damage and greatly lowers defense. Also, Increases rare drop, item drop rate, and deals damage regardless of attribute. Command allies to prioritize their actions. Allies can be ordered to follow certain tactics. Change their tactics by pressing uh, left on the touchpad, depending on the situation. Let's see, attack focus, press set to change. Attack focus, prioritize offense and group together. Evasion, stop attacking, focus on staying safe. The tactics are valid if only one member is in the party. Let's see, uh, Square will let you switch and coordinate your ally and fight. I thought you were just an ordinary sailor, but your sword skills are impressive. You couldn't have defended yourself from my attack by accident. Um, you too. Yes. Complimenting me will get you nothing. From the looks of it, this must be those beasts' territory. Hey, little Kristen, let us first move to a safer location. You know what about beasts? Anyways. Huh? Ah, uh, this is just common sense. Please don't misunderstand, don't misunderstand. We are lowering our swords because it is the rational choice. I do not trust you at all. If you understand, then stop wasting time. Let's go. Uh, Adol's, uh, access Adol's adventure journal via the camp menu to check various bits of information here. Still doing the uh, whole character thing. This 
place is a little bit different. Let's search the area and find out if anyone else is here. Looks like an item wash ashore. Red meat. Various types of driftage wash ashore. The item may come in handy. Be sure to check the shore often. Always bother me the way he walks <laughs> or jogs. A giant crystal stands before you. Both body and soul seem to relax when near it. Adel's health has recovered. HP and status fully recover when passing near a crystal. On the game over screen, choose to retry from the last crystal pass by. The cave seems to go on forever. There are no signs of anyone inside. You decide to search elsewhere for now. to the others. We don't know, which is why we're looking for clues. It is possible that others might have found themselves on this island like us. Let's not waste time and start our search. We've checked this area, but we failed to find anyone else. By the way, this location is fenced in by walls of stone from every direction. Perfect guiding spot? Indeed, it's no stretch to call it a fort. There's no presence of beasts, so it may prove to be a good location for a base. That's... Just now, I, I saw someone walking over there. Let's give chase. Indeed, it may be a castaway or a native, but we could learn something either way. Let's go after them. in a minute. Clear, beautiful stream runs through here. It's a perfect spot to quench your thirst, but there's no sign of anyone else having been here. Where are we? It looks like there's a cave ahead. 
Let's be cautious. Yes, of course. Traces of people haven't been here. Could some be living in this place? Well, that's possible. Yes, it may be possible, but look at how messy it is. Everything in here is badly damaged. This might be something left behind that can there might be something left behind that can give us a clue. You must look around, Adol Kristen. Quite old, but I wonder if we can still use it. Now go to item in the camp menu or press R2 to open the uh, to open the item menu. Usable items are shown in the use tab. Is there something inside? There's nothing. <sighs> Guess not. There. Adol can barely make out an image that is stitched into the curtain. This is... It's a bit faded, but it looks to be some sort of emblem. Unfortunately, it is faded and impossible to make out. This is quite old, but... Adol decided to equip the armor anyway. Go for items via the equipment uh, option in the camp menu. Hmm. It shouldn't be said not to. Uh... Give Dogi as a par partner this time. This is uh, a little bit old, but it still might be useful. Adel Kristen, why not use this sword instead of that rusty one? Adel removed his rusty sword and equipped the short sword. Looks like there's nothing else for else of use here. We didn't find anyone outside either, so we should move on. Old jars and bottles are scattered about. They're also dirty and dusty. This place has been abandoned for some time. But it is clear that someone must be living here. There shouldn't be nothing left that could provide Adol with a clue. Or Adol. All, the, all these years. May I have a moment of your time, Adol Christian. I noticed something during that previous encounter. Obtain various bonuses uh, based on how you fight. Arrow combos lift the enemy into the air and obtain bonus experience. Skill finishers finish the enemy off with a skill to regain half of the SP used. It seems beneficial to be proactive in one's use of jump attacks and skills. What do you think? Valuable advice, if I say so myself. I'll give it a try, yeah. Good. If you recognize its value, then battles will go in our favor. And one more thing. Destroy a breakable object to gain SP or find items. You can obtain SP from glowing plants and, it and items from wooden boxes, barrels, or pots. I see. Hmm, <laughs> you better be grateful. This knowledge will prove useful.
Switch. Yeah, I'd like to, this to be on Switch. Something's there. I'm coming. Down. Down. My turn now. Counting on you. Leveled up. Oh, what could this be? Ah, who is this? A rock corpse leans against a boulder. Based on his tattered attire, Adol feels it must be a pirate. It looks as though this individual perished many years ago. But why were they here in the first place? Same reason why we're here. Did you see that just now? That was definitely a person. Let's go after them. <gasps> if there is a, if there is a, possibly. This beast, it's going to get in my way. Then I won't hold back! Be able to use extra skill. If a skill if a skill lands, the extra gauge will charge. Or will charge. When the gauge is full, press both L1 and R1 to unleash a tremendously powerful attack. We did it, Adol Kristen. Not now. Let's get back on track and follow that person. There may be a town nearby. Don't get discouraged. Pardon. I'm not the least bit discouraged. Hmm? Oh, Adol, is that you? I'm surprised to see that you're okay. I was searching the area for other survivors, but I didn't expect to find you. You are. Oh, Adol, who might this be? Adol introduced Laxia and briefly explained what has happened to until now. Afterwards, Barbara started to explain how the Lombardi sank. The Lombardia. That's all the information I have about the Lombardia sinking. So, everything Adol and Kristen said was true. Yes, I've, I have caused too much trouble for the passengers. I have no excuses. It was an unfor unforeseeable situation, so there is nothing to apologize for. I also understand how honest you are about your duties. You have my deepest apologies. But it's difficult to accept everything about your explanation. 
Do you at least have any clue about where we are now? From the looks of it, we must have washed ashore on an island. Judging from the location where we sunk and the direction of the current at the time, we are on the deserted island of Siren. A deserted island? The island of Siren? I've never heard of it. And I'll briefly tell her the legend of the Isle of Siren. A cursed island? Does a place like that actually exist? Oh, just as I thought. Hmm, a cursed island that no one can approach. I didn't think I'd get to I didn't think I'd get here like this. The corpse in the cave. It looked like the cave was used for shelter. Passenger ships, merchant ships, pirate ships. Many ships have gone missing in this part of the sea. If the passengers and crew of those ships all washed up here like we did, like we did, there must be some trace of castaways living on this island. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I made you guys worry. Since I survived, I'm going to fulfill my duties as of captain. There might be other passengers like Loxia on this island. First, we must quickly grasp the situation, and everyone who survived will need to work hard to get out of here alive. Yes, I hope that works. All right, nothing will get done if we just stay, stay here. Let's get going. Adel and the others retrace their steps and return to the bay area. And what are your plans moving forward? Yes, about that. I would like to ask for your help, Adel, seeing as you are an adventurer. An adventurer? Is he talking about you? My first request is for you to locate any other surviving passengers, like Laxia. It is quite it is quite probable that other passengers have drifted ashore on this island. Some might even be women and children. We need to hurry. Let's begin right away, yeah. Good, I'm counting on you. I do have an additional request for you to tackle while searching for other survivors. I ask that you create a detailed map of the island the Siren. Uh, sure, I'm excited for photographer. Is that so? How fortuitous. No ships sail through this area. Is it possible that rescue will never come? We must make preparations for our escape, and we will likely be here for a while. As such, we need to learn about and have precise data about the island for all to share. I see. Escape preparations? Yes. Store clean water and food, and somehow prepare a ship of our own. What do you think, Adol? Uh, Adol, can you grant these requests? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, that's right. Such words of reassurance are promising. I will explore the near. Sh I will explore near the shoreline. I'm thinking of building a base here. If we are to remain on this island for a time, we need a base of operations. Uh, Captain Barbaros, I. Please remain here for safety's sake, Luxia. Are you telling me to sit pretty and do nothing in our desperate situation? I thank you for your concern, but that would only insult the Roswell family name. I will journey with this adventure if it is all the same to you. But my servant who accompanied me on this excursion is still missing. I cannot allow another search for them to, while I sit around and do nothing. Hm. Yes, I understand. All right, if that's your decision. Still, we are unaware of what dangers will await you. Do be cautious. Thank you very much. We'll be going now. Who's the servant you mentioned? That was simply a temporary measure I had to take in order to convince the captain. All right, Adol Kristen. Who exactly are you? I admit that you're skilled with a sword, but what is an adventurer? I've never heard of a silly title like that. Adventures are just a type of hobby, and I will not allow anyone to speak of them as if they were an important duty. Listen, Adol Kristen. I am going with you so that I may observe you, because you look very similar to someone that I absolutely hate. Oh, who? I won't answer any questions. And on top of that, you've seen me. 
now, don't fall behind. You'd better be prepared. Alright, uh, why don't we stop it there? This is Out of Prosperity, you've been watching East 8, uh, Lacrimosa of Donna. Uh, we'll definitely play all the way through this one, although I also have to play through 7. <laughs> so, uh, we'll see how this all goes. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching, I will see you at the next stream.